When was the last time you saw a Steam Splash logo? Full screened. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, no, it's usually the Valve guy, right? Uh, this game is called Sherlock Holmes Chapter One. I personally, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of fucking Sherlock Holmes. I don't fully give a fuck about this guy, but let's see what this game's about. I feel like I've played a lot of Sherlock Holmes games. Maybe this one's good. It just came out. All right. Let's see. Chapter one. Let's see what we got here. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So Wait, much for ginger docking by seasickness. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. All right. <clears throat> Both characters look the same. I thought his sidekick is like Watson or some shit. Was that Watson? Oh. Hey, Sherry. Come on, catch up. What yes, the yes. fuck? Welcome to the game. Use wa was da and press to interact, okay? <clears throat> all right. Well, look at me, all fucking fancy and shit. This fucking guy. Smokers, check. Smokers. Interesting. Oh, we can run. Nice. Oh yeah, do they look the same? They kind of do. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Motherfucker, you just saw me running around. All right, I'm going in, whatever. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. What's up, bro? If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. All right. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Oh, wait. What was the game that we played recently where the smoke dev never made the, uh, <coughs> lips? Or the, uh, the cigarette hit the lips? What the fuck? It's the same dev. Oh, yeah, Call of Duty. What the fuck? I don't think the tech is there yet in gaming. If 
need something, sir. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Hey, yo, what up, bruh? Where do I sign? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. Oh. Uh, I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. Yo, why not just get a second key just in case? None of these guys actually take a sip of their drink. They just hold it the whole time. They never drink. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Are you coming with me? Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Well, okay. Well, I'm assuming we'd have to go up there for uh, our shit. Oh, damn, bro. It's a nice-ass hotel. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Maybe we can drink? Would you like a drink, sir? Why not? Why not? Would you like a drink, sir? Okay, sure. I'll take, uh, whatever you got in the bag. Would you like a drink, sir? Yes, we've gone over this. The one, okay, I'll take a, uh, I don't know. Would you like a drink, sir? You know what? I'll come back. Yo, is my room even up here? I don't know if it is. Backers would find this place incredibly dull, don't you think? Okay. Who the fuck is this guy? Some random ass? Yeah, notice no one's smoking indoors. Hey, yo, where the fuck is my room, dude? Touch it for clues? I don't think there's a mystery to be solved right now. John's diary. Casebook. For, prepared for me upstairs. 221. Oh! Okay. Let me see here. Of course. Of course. Great art. Wait, 226. 227. Shit. Okay, we need to go the other way. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Wait, that was Keanu Reeves? Oh my god, it is. It's his great, great, great grandfather. Bianu. Reeves. Whoa. What a breathtaking man. I know. Wait, who the fuck said that? Did I say that? <laughs> Oh, shit. Motherfucker, you better have got all the bags, man, I swear! I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Oh! Perhaps in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. I already asked the guy at the bar. He wasn't taking shit. Let's check what they have on offer. Dude, it's like late. How is the room not ready if check-ins at like 2, 3 p.m.? Where's the manager? Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. Incredible. The medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. Wait, it's so All random. things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. 
So tell me, what do you see? Whoa! Mediocrity. Come now, Wait, and then he what just walks he away? That? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. That was so random. Okay. All right, man. I'm gonna ask again. Can I get a fucking drink? If seafood's not to your taste, God damn it! everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. What I meant, whatever. We're taking that. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, he's right there. Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What do you have in mind? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, you can deliver it to him as well. Ah, uh, let me solve this mystery. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. True. True. Take a look. All right. Ah. Of course. And Grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. I was going to say dents Javanese. Suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. Yep. My thought exactly. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic. In garlic. The meadow, yep. Mm -hmm. The Fielding family or meadows, or. Craven. Craven. From the old yep. Name, garlic, garlic place. place. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's what I thought. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. Mm. This cane mm. is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take I was thinking the same Sherry. thing. Let's return it to its owner. Can I pick this up? All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane I already itself forgot. is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Just look for who has a limp. Press C to open the case and pin the evidence with X. My story, wait, cases. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, okay. Meeting the medium. These are all the events, and this is the new event that pops up. And then you can pin the evidence. That's weird. Cases. John's diary. History. Dark rituals at the graveyard. Some bullshit. Mind palace. No clues. Wardrobe. Okay. Options. All right. This can is the ancestry of a British nobleman. I can ask other guests about the... Who may have been previously sitting here? I don't gotta ask shit, bro. I got an eye, man. I got an eye. You know who knows? The bartender. He sees everything. Would you like a drink, sir? Fuck! <laughs> Let me ask this guy. May I ask for your assistance? That's a question I can answer. There are three people at the table. A couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out of the front garden for some air. I have to oh, find him. Even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the Kane's owner on your first try. Huh. And would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Watson, I don't know what I drank. I think it was the shrimp. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm seeing things. Uh, wait, the garden. It must be back here. Press Q to concentrate and reveal details to identify your target. Don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Uncomfortable shoes, Swedish singer, sympathetic. Bro, we need to go to the fucking garden. 
Oh, in the front garden, lol. All right, let me see. This guy, it's him. It's this guy right here. Irish, unmarried, affable. Wait, smoke dev. Dude, he's smoking it from his mustache. What the fuck is that? He's putting it up to his mustache, dude. Not that one, huh? You lost the bet, Sherry. But don't let that stop your search for the Navy officer. Wait, what was John's challenge? Fuck me. Could you help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Uh, okay. Maybe it's this guy. Are you able to help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Oh! Oh, the seance hey, room. Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? We do, I'm we do. I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Okay. So, the couple, the guy, is the owner. Where the fuck is the seance? Why is it still telling me I need to do this? What if I go back and try to pin the evidence? I lost the bet, Sej. We know we need to go to the seance. Only today. Oh, it's right here. We're in. We're in. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Oh dear. Hey boy, that's my cane. I get that a lot, it's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made. A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What the guy's like, my nose, but my I nose. I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Oh, fuck. Let me do a little bit of my observation. You are a fucking papaya. And then, you put the cane down. But then, you fucking shit. What the, who taught you? You're so good. Expensive and new clothes. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. Recently hit someone with force. Bored British nobleman, an ill Englishman on a resort. Wait, swollen, bored British, and ill Englishmen on resort. Let's go with this, chat. Done. Yes. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything. I was after a British noble who takes boxing lessons but suffers from some liver issues. And if one were to go further, one may even be able the to extract your name from your heraldic symbol. Lord With a hint of Craven. lumbago. Well, you're half correct. I am indeed Lord Andrew Craven. Your other guesses were wrong, but you still have the edge over that blasted medium. Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. Oh! The police? Why bother? I know Fuck. this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. Uh, tell me about the diamond. What happened at the seance? No! Tell me. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to wrong for the first owners. time. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long dead Indian royalty, and pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? 
To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Okay, what happened at the seance, guy? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred, exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Okay. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the that diamond was gone. That guy's in the distance. I'm gonna look around. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. All right, let's see here. I swear every game has a fucking pulse. All right, let me sit here, inspect this shit. What's going on here? This weird object. Budget helps you pick up smaller teeth that are scribbled zero per second to the object more closely. Oval Grove, 104 the carats. On the table so that all participants could reach it. All right, what type of alcohol? Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? All right. There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Okay. The fuck did they? What the fuck is on the ground? Okay. This must be the ectoplasm. Ah. Uh, Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Of course. Ectoplasm. The ghost was here, Sherry. The ghost was here, man? What do you know about it? Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Oh, you're not helping at all, man. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Oh, okay, pal. Oh, okay, man. Oh, okay, bruh. What? What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Okay. Are any spirits here now? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I mean, shit, might as well. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? All right, all right. This guy, okay, man? There's more ectoplasm. Does it lead anywhere else? No. It doesn't. But wait, behind the Was curtain! Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Uh, or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Ah. Uh, wait, the mind palace. A mother's love ghosts of the past. The fuck? Deductions, bruh? Lady Craven faced the window. The lady pointed across the table. Lord Craven punched the medium. Is this like... Wait, deductions. Combine clues to make dedu deductions. We're not ready yet. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Okay. No, we, we need to gather all the evidence. Before we decide to, uh, go on ahead. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. British aristocrat, barely conscious, affable. All right. 
according to everything, I think we have everything we need here. I think we are good. To deduct this weight. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. The fuck? All right, motherfuckers. I think we got everything here. <gasps> but wait. Wait, no, there's a random dot in the distance. All right, fuck it. Let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> During the seance, Lady Craven's place at the table was opposite. A window to the courtyard. Lady Craven pointed across the seance table at something and screamed. When he discovered that the diamond had been stolen, Lord Craven punched the medium in the face. But wait, was it this window? I don't know. That's the only one. I did. The window. Is there anything? She saw something through the window. Can we actually leave this place? Lol? <gasps> oh, I thought it was ectoplasm. Andrew looks like the old man is losing it. He, his beehives are being ransacked and his bees are going down one by one. I don't think there's much honey left in the staying with the swarm. If you catch my drift, meet me at the docks at noon. We'll do it together. A honey plotter's note? The fuck? Oh my god, another smoker guy. Moment of truth. Oh my god! It connected! Holy shit, bro. You're the one and only. This fucking guy. She saw something in the window. And there's some motherfuckers in the dock. I'm gonna do the deduction shit because this keeps yelling at me. Okay. Mind palace. Deduction. Combine clues to make deductions. How do I combine two clues to get... Oh. What the fuck did I just do? Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the seance. Wait, did I combine? Oh, so you're always combining two clues. When you discover that the diamond is on Laura. Okay, so now we need to get more stuff connected here. To then find another deduction. What is that? Nothing. I wonder if I have to go back and talk to them when I deduct something, but how about I just keep running through, I guess? The fuck? I honestly don't know. Wait, below the window there was something? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude! There's something right there! That looks like there's something. I can't interact with it, though. Across the table, and Lord Kerman jumping to his feet, shaking his fists. Motherfuck. The center of the sound room has a table of Canada, and there is a holder where the diamond is cut. The cigar butt and whiskey glass were on the table. Opposite the window glass of one in her face. The chair was thrown inside with your force. Lady Kerman is really conscious, but it appears to be on her. After you it, I should be able to talk to her. Yeah, maybe I'm... Am I missing something from the first room, maybe? I didn't take the diamond, I swear. I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. Okay, I'm either missing something in here or lol. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. I don't know what else to do here. I've done everything. I can't interact with half of this stuff. There's nothing to combine this with right now. Wait! Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the seance. Okay. 
Maybe I can talk to her now? I doubt it. I didn't miss anything else here. We definitely got everything. Oh, fuck. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Ah, seems like fuck. you're ready to delve into your moth find palace, Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. God it seems there may have been an it. unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, oh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Piece of shit, man. Recently scratched, something struck. What the fuck is this? This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? The I'm reserving so judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. To track someone's movement, first pin the relevant evidence to the screen, then enter concentration mode with Q to reveal the trail shock while into it the approximate path, so stay within the search area. Okay, so if we go here and go to Mind Palace and the Moth Pin. Oh no, you go here, Casebook. Broken Heel. Someone was in the car. I found a broken heel and scratches I can track. Oh, right here, it shows it. Okay. Of course he ran through here. There's the trail. Over here. Is there anything in here? What is this? Rose de Moor. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Rose de Moor. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Okay, sure, sure. So the evidence you pin on the screen matters uh, on how stuff is conducted further and where the fuck you're going. Turn it around. Bro, I already did. There's more? Fuck me. Size four with a broken heel. Of course. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... <sighs> no, what a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. The other maids. We gotta find another maid. Let's talk to this guy. He must know something. No. Oh, wait, right here. She might know. Is this familiar to you? Oh, yes. I can tell you everything, sir. Really? The sad said that Lucia got a scolding from a the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs. Oh, near Bianu. Size four. I don't see anyone. Is it her? Excuse me, just one question. Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Okay, it's not her. It's not her. Where are the fucking paintings? Where are the paintings? Where is the maid? If not her upstairs. Oh, I see. It's her. Suspicious. The broom's not even making contact with the floor. Two size four. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I, gotcha. I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? I am a writer. I am solving a crime. I'm a writer. No, I'm solving a crime. A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Ah. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss? Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. 
and don't play coy. I can tell. Oh shit, what did you see in the room? Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, okay. touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Whoa. Whoa. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Okay. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. All right, then. So she didn't do anything, but she saw a ghost. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Okay. So what the fuck is this? With the nun, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past, interact with the node to begin, then recreate an accurate version of events. Here, try to place the seance participants in their correct positions. Uh, so... Wait. No. She was opposite the window, wasn't she? Right? Yes. And then I think he was right here. What the fuck is he holding? What is that? It looks like a huge fucking, like... I don't know what that is. Right? Because the chair flew over there. Oh, is that the ghost? Or is he fucking vomiting? Is that projectile vomit? I think that's right. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Ah. Uh, Amazing. It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. I did. I did. Oh, I'm I natural. You were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. I bet Lady Craven fucking stole some shit. I bet it was her. The lone servant in the sounds room told me that Craven's room number 226 is upstairs. Yes. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. I'll take care of it. If the lady it. was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? I'll take it from here. Lady Craven. I think she's doing some sketchy shit. Let's go have a little, uh, talk with them. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Act suspicious. Wait, what actions by Lady Craven? Sun's bad equi- I don't fucking know. Does the chef steals food? Can I use a fish knife? Fuck! Well, we didn't do much there. Shit. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Okay, I'm ready. Sun's bad. Fuck it. Keep that one. Fuck! Yes. Price is rising. Was on the lookout. Yes. Lots of guests. Cannot use a fish knife. Motherfucker! Can I use a fish knife? Was one? Of course it was. Lady Craven is not. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
Made her husband drunk. Son's bad acquaintances. Lol. Lots of guests. Cannot use a fish knife. Prices rising. Was on the lookout. Done. <gasps> I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossiped that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. All right, let's go talk to them. Oh shit, it's open. Oh fuck, I just walked right in. <gasps> what? You're here, at last. I didn't do that, I swear. I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Oh my god. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. Was Emma with you? And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where is the medium? Is Mr. Galici still being held, and where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225, but that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Where did you go next? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. What did you do next? So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Alright, you motherfucker! Charlotte. Why am I not surprised? Alright, let's see here. What happened? Alright, the diamond. Okay, okay. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Okay, one of three, one of three. All right, some stuff here. What is this? Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. Huh. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, uh. there is a professional medium right next door. Hold on now, hold on. Let's unpin this shit. Unpin. How do you fucking pin it? Oh, if it's red, it's pinned. Okay. Miss Emma lied dead. All right. Miss Emma's body. We need to get the key. Yeah, we gotta get the key. It looked like he wrote something down. Ordinary cheap brass weak lock. A remarkably simple lock. Interesting. Anything else around here? What is this? Is that where the diamond was held? Too shallow, false uh -huh. bottom. A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Hmm. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Okay, is this 205 in this specific area? Or the whole room? 
Several I think it's this area. Quite a fortune. Can I get rid of this fucking site? Oh, there we go. Virtus? Some shit. It's Latin. Virtus or Dactus Apit. Courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. 225. What is this? Oh! Wait. Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. That was in the clothes. A victim with a checkered past. And poor taste. Interesting. Provide evidence. No. We need to go. I am needed elsewhere. We could give him evidence, but I don't fucking know yet. We should go downstairs and try to get the key, right? Someone was not happy with his post. We could read all that, but we'll save it. Let me see if I can go talk to the reception for a key or whatever. Sherlock killed. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. I need to talk to him about the events of the seance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but please do not give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Okay, 225, right? 225. Let's talk to this guy. Motherfucker! I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Okay. The physical realm? Took a heavy blow. What is he reading? Used a lot of makeup. Interesting. Skinny seems malnourished. Oh, dude. Trained in sleight of hand. What the fuck? What the fuck are we missing here? Oh. Fresh scrapes slightly bleeding. Whoa! Former thief became a medium. His nose is bleeding. He, the medium is down on his luck. His hand and thin fingers indicate that he is skilled at conjuring tricks used to manipulate concealed items. He has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrists from a recent and short fight. I think he tries his best as medium, but his business doesn't go well. And he sometimes has to go without food. Um, I think a medium down on his luck, chat. I think so. I think I'm right. I believe. Fresh, I think so. Yes. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. No, oh, no that's wait. right. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Fuck. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I... In fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well. At least I can make the dead talk. Okay. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. Okay, bro. Okay. Um. 
Uh, yo, I don't know what evidence to give this guy. Lord Craven, you promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal, yet I've not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after your false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue, Murray, I shall be forced to appeal to the court. Uh, okay. The butterfly. Tr cheap ring with a moth design. Wait. Because wasn't the j wasn't the jacket on the table his? Or on the seat? Wasn't he sitting at the chair with the jacket with the moth? I'm just going to give this to him and see what happens. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, fuck. Coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. Okay, bro. Okay, pal. Jesus Christ. Motherfucker. We ain't figuring this shit out. It's gonna take five years. Chat, next game. Next game. Although, this game's not bad. It's actually a pretty cool game, actually. I thought it was gonna be potato as fuck, but, uh... Um... Actually, a pretty cool game. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of things to put together. Guys, the whole game is going to be, be me doing this. Like, what are you saying right now? It was almost over? I don't think so. I think there's still like an hour left. Chat, I have an idea. You guys get the, stream, the, get the fucking game and do it yourself.